Good morning. As it's a rest day today and I'm at Greg's house, I thought it would be a great opportunity to go through my bag and see what I've got in there and to show you guys what I carry every day on my runs. So what we're going to start off with, we're going to start off with clothes. Uh, my running clothes are, I've got my dee -dee -dee, I've got my running shorts on at the moment and I've got my pants on at the moment, I've got my socks on. And the rest of my running gear is my hat to keep the sun off. I've got my running t-shirt, which is high-vis and uh, wicking layers. I've got my running socks and I have my fleece, which I don't wear often when I'm running, but uh, if it gets cold, I can put it on. So that's my running gear to keep me when I'm running. The other stuff I've got, the other clothes I've got, is my uh, sleeping clothes. I'm wearing my sleeping t-shirt at the moment, which has got the logo on it, so it's cool. Uh, and then the rest of it is kept in this bag, which is an old sleeping bag bag, which is fairly waterproof. But uh, in there, I've got a spare fleece. I've got um, uh, warm socks, thick socks, got tracksuit, I've got other pants, and I've got a, a snood, which I sometimes wear with my eyes when I'm sleeping, if it's going to be bright in the mornings. Uh, yeah, so I've got those things in there. Oh, and my trainers as well, which are over there. These are my running trainers. They are Sulconi. Uh, they're really good. They've lasted me a whole year. Uh, I probably should have got some new trainers before now, but they're starting to fall apart a little bit there. So I'll definitely be getting some new trainers before the run is out, probably in about a week's time, just to uh, replace some of the holes that are starting to appear in these trainers. This is my sleeping arrangement for a mat. I got uh, lent this lovely Thermarest three-quarter roll mat. So it's a Thermarest original, and it's a three-quarter length, so it doesn't quite cover my whole body, but my, and my feet hang off the end, but it's really light, it's really comfy, and actually I'm really converted to three-quarter length, so I never thought I would, but you don't need a heat under your feet, and if it's too hard, the only problem I've had is when the floor's been hard and my blister's been on the floor, I just want to chuck a few clothes on the floor and think my feet have been dry enough anyway, so that's what I've been using for sleeping mat. And for sleeping bag, I have got this really cheap one that, uh, it's an, X Lights Travel. It was, uh, it's a carry more. It was bought by my sister-in-law for a festival. It's really thin. It's really light, but it packs down really small, which is ideal for me. And then around my sleeping bag, I have an Outkit Hunker Bivy. Uh, this has been one of the best purchases I ever made. Uh, it has lasted me absolutely years. It's starting to lose its waterproofness and some, uh, some cracks just starting to appear on the lining itself, but it has lasted me years and years and it's been a great purchase. So definitely go and get one of those if you can. Bit pricey, but they're really worth the money. Next, electricals and other bits and bobs. So in this nice, lovely, bright orange waterproof bag, so I don't lose it, I have got, uh, oh, electricals first, let's start with, you can't see this at the moment, but I'm looking at my camera, which is sat on a small gorilla pod. I am wearing a Lavellia mic, a, one, a lapel mic. This has really been good for getting clear audio when doing my questions, and well, most of the time anyway. Uh, as well as that, I carry, this is the, probably the heaviest thing I carry, it's a battery pack and doo, full charge. So it's got a full charge at the moment because I'm at Grace House and I've just charged it, but this, I, this will charge my phone probably four or five times, or maybe more. Uh, it's quite heavy, but it's well worth it and it's kept me going and kept my charge going on my phone. Uh, I've got to go with that, the wire, that connects to my phone, that, with this wire charges my phone and the same wire charges my uh, battery charger, which goes with the extra fast charging plug. That's really helpful. What else have I got my bag of wonders? So there's a little pouch for my Lavellia mic and in there I have got that there is called a dead cat apparently. So when it's really windy, you put that on the mic and it means you can hear more clearly. I use that in the very first video with Hugo when he does his joke when we're in Land's End because the wind was horrendous. What else have I got in there then? I've got headphones. I don't listen to music or anything when I'm running, but these are really useful when I'm sat in a pub editing videos so other people can't hear me. I can use them front if I want to, but I haven't yet. I have got uh, my head torch for running at night and for doing fit, uh, the light. Oh, that was cool. Uh, for doing lighting when it's a nighttime video, I have to light myself up. And a recent purchase, Compede. These are Compede for my feet to make sure my feet aren't working. Aren't working? Make sure, that, make sure my blisters aren't hurting, is what I meant to say. Uh, I also carry a selfie stick for some different shots. Don't use this very often. 
it's reasonably heavy, but uh, I, it's good for some, di some different shots rather than just me running to and from the camera when it's sat on the tripod. Some different shots of the selfie cam. So be cre quite creative with these things. In that same pouch, I carry a notebook where I'm writing down all my thoughts for the whole journey. Uh, I carry a pen, but that pen's starting to run out. So I also carry, can't see it anywhere right now, but I also carry a pencil as well, just in case that does run out. I also carry this for some reason. It's really, I don't know, it's the enter, to get the certificate for running into the Land's Enter of Donna Gropes, you need to fill in this certificate and put in all stamps and dates and all stuff like this. I've only had it stamped once so far, which is there. Uh, but I will uh, try and get stamped as we go through and see if I get a certificate at the end. And the last thing in that, in that little bag that I carry is toilet paper. Well, uh, <laughs> tissue paper. But I'll, uh, if I ever get caught short, which I haven't yet so far, but if I get caught short, that's my go-to answer, some tissue paper. Okay, let's have a look in the actual bag. It's, oh, oh no, tell I. Let's have a look in my, my bum bag. Or family pack if you're American. So I have my bum bag, it's actually got a hole in one of the pockets, uh, which is this pocket here. So everything up in this pocket falls out. But in this pocket, I carry a pack of stickers. Uh, each of the stickers has got my uh, QR code to my website and my website on it, and it. So I give these to people who show an interest or people who give me a joke so they can follow along and see their videos and whatever. So that's a really, that was a really great idea. That's my wife's idea. Oh, I found my pencil. Why do I carry a pencil? Uh, and in this pocket, I carry uh, some cash. I carry my debit cards and I carry spare plasters and blister plasters and anything else I need in there. So just really light things that I don't mind carrying. In this pouch also, usually in this pocket here, that'd be full of snacks like the flapjacks or cereal bars or whatever. And then I carry any of the electricals or whatever I'm needing straight away. So I'm, or maybe my charger and my phone, if I'm charging it in my pocket in there, or maybe the tripod in there. Uh, so that's a really useful spot there for carrying lots of gear. That's, my, that's the pocket probably I use the most of everything. <laughs> Okay, let's go to the bag then. Here I have my bag. It is a Tomashu, Tomashu bag. It's actually a cycling bag. And this net here at the front is meant to be for uh, carrying your helmet in. But actually I found it really useful for throwing things like loaves of bread or my jumper when I don't want to carry it or other things, sandwiches, whatever I pick up. If I carry it in here, uh, anything not too heavy, uh, then it sits on the outside and I can access it quickly. One thing I picked up recently was some antiseptic wipes for my blisters, so I can clean my feet and my blisters, make sure they're not getting infected. Uh, the, I actually, uh, the, woo, the bag comes with a cover already, and I have this stuck onto it, this uh, vinyl sticker, uh, and that is uh, luminousness and reflective and high vis and all the rest of it, which is really good when I'm running along at night time, so people can see me. In the side pockets, in this side pocket, I carry a Lucozaid or an energy drink some variety and my sun cream in there. And in the other side, I carry my waterproof uh, poncho. Uh, this poncho can also act as a uh, basher, so like a mini tent if I need to use it. If, I, if, if it is raining and I get stuck outside, which I'm hoping not, then I can do that. And to make turn it into a tent, I have got some shoelaces to tie one end up to a fence or something and some tent pegs, two really light tent pegs to peg in the floor. So that will turn my little my little waterproof coat into a sleeping bag. I carry in here spare spare bars, spare flapjacks, that sort of thing. And then also I carry a water pouch. This is a Aonigi, 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 I don't know how you pronounce that. Uh, water pouch, uh, it's done me really well so far. The only problem with it is I bit slightly too hard on the valve and the water now dribbles out sometimes. So I've got to make sure that valve is empty when I finish drinking it because uh, otherwise it drips down my leg. Love that. And that is, oh, one more thing. I always miss these two pockets because they're top, top secret pockets. In this little pocket here, I carry on the side here is my Vaseline for when things get chafy. And on this side, I carry uh, my toothpaste. I carry earbuds. I carry my uh, hay fever tablets. And I carry my toothbrush, which has to have the handle sawn off 
And lots of people saw off their handles for weight saving reasons. I sewed it off literally so it could fit in this pocket. That's the only reason it's been sewn off. So that's it. And I think, oh, one last thing. Uh, so my uh, cousin, James, who I met up with the other day for the run down in Dartmoor, he has uh, uh, recommended that I use this stuff here, which is called Luco Tape, uh, to stop my blisters getting worse or forming. So I'm going to start using this as well. So it's, it's again, quite bulky, but I'll find space for it and put it in my bag somewhere. So that's, uh, that's all my stuff in my bag. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. A bit different from my normal run video, but it's a rest day. I'm going to put my feet up and have a relax. Why don't you do the same? See you next time.